so far we have seen only the theoretical aspects of AACR2. Now let us see the practical aspects with some examples. Example number one for single authorship pattern. Have a look at the title page. What is given? A textbook of business mathematics by GK Ranganath, Himalaya Publishing House, Bombay, Delhi and rest of the publishers information given. Let us do this title page in the cataloging card format. We have already told you to start with any main entry. First you have to give the class number and book number. Now to write this class number. It should be written before the first vertical indent on the horizontal line. And what is the class number given in this title page? Of course it is 520. So you have to write the class number before the first vertical as 520. And below to that line you have to use your book number which is given as RAN. This book number is nothing but the year of publication which you already know. But sometimes if year of publication is not known, we can take the three letters of the surname of the author. So in this example, the author's surname has been taken as the book number. So now we have completed the call number section. And after that you have to leave one line to write your assertion number which is given in your title page. So copy down the assertion number whatever is given. After doing this section, now let us start with the heading section that is your horizontal line. Now we are going to write the choice of access in the horizontal line. What to write? Of course this title page is with single author. So what is the author's name? It is given as GK Ranganath. And what is the rule says? We have to copy down only the surname as first. So the surname is nothing but Ranganath. So you have to start the choice of access from the first vertical. So start writing as Ranganath comma and the rest of the initial which is GK. Now we have completed the heading section. Now let us start with the description part which has got four paragraphs. What is the first paragraph? It begins from the title and ends with the publisher's information. And this paragraph should start from the second vertical. And now let us start writing the title. What is the title? It's a textbook of business mathematics. So we have to copy as a textbook of business mathematics. And then you should look whether we have any subtitle in the title page. There is no subtitle. So now we are going for the statement of responsibility. So for this statement of responsibility, you have to use the punctuation mark slash. So use a slash and copy down the statement of responsibility as given in the title page. So we are going to write by GK Ranganath and then look for subsequent statement of responsibility. It's not given in the title page. So the next one you are going for the edition which is also not available in our given title page. So the next one obviously is your place of publication. So the connecting punctuation is dot dash and what is the place of publication? In this example we have two place of publication given. So if you have more than one always copy down the first place of publication. So here dot dash Bombay colon the publisher name which is Himalaya publishing. So dot dash Bombay colon Himalaya comma and the given year of publication. Now the second paragraph which is the pages and the size description and copy down first the preliminary pages. The preliminary pages you have to use always the small Roman numbers. So whatever the number is given copy down in the format of small Roman followed by a comma go for the textual pages and for that use a P abbreviated form and semicolon copy down the size. Now we have completed two paragraph which is your title paragraph and the physical description paragraph. And after this you have to leave a single line and look for any note information is given. Of course in this title page we don't have any note information. So let us go for the ISBN number and the price. This ISBN number you should start writing from the second indention. Copy down the ISBN as given and then keep a colon and copy down the given price. Now all the four paragraphs are over. Now we are going to see the tracing section. The first tracing always belongs to the subject of the title. So for the subject already you know we only use the Arabic numerals. So number one stands for the subject and how to derive the subject from the given title. Of course there are so many methods to be followed. One of the popular method what they use in AACR is nothing but the CS list of subject heading. 
Now you can take your CS list of subject heading and which is arranged in a alphabetical order and look to the subject as mathematics because the title says it is a textbook of business mathematics. So you have to go to the word mathematics and see whether the number given in the CS list and the number given in our title page is same or not. If it is the same then the word which is given in thick letters should be taken as your subject heading. Now. Are you able to get the word mathematics in your CS list? Yes, it is very much there and of course it is also given in thick letters and what is the number given in that? It is 5 to 0. So you can take the word mathematics as your subject and write down in the title page as mathematics. Now we have done your subject card and after the subject now we are going for the rest of the added entries. Roman number 1 always stands for a second author. But in this title page, we have only one author. So there is no added entry for author. And after the author, we have to look whether any SSR is given. Of course, there is no SSR in the title page and no editor's information. So the Roman number 1 stands for the title. So for this example, we have got only two added entries. The first one is for the subject and the second one is for the title. And how to prepare this added entry? The first one, you can have a look how we have done the added entry. How we have done, we have repeated all the information from the main entry as such on top of that horizontal line that is on top of the author's name on the above line you have to write the subject name in capital letters starting from the second intention. Are you able to see how we have written? So the subject, the word mathematics is written in capital letters on above to the author's name. So this is the way to do the added entry for the subject. In the same way, we have to do rest of the added entries. For example, if you want to do the added entry for the author, we have to write down the author's name on top of the horizontal line. But here we do not have any added entry for the author, so we have to prepare only for the title. How to write this title? The same way how we have done the subject. On top of the author's name which is in the horizontal line, write down the title as given but starting from the second vertical. But in case if there is no space to continue the title or the author's name in the given space, the continuation should be taken by leaving two space after the second intention. So these are the ways to prepare the added entries. Now example number two which is for three authorship pattern. The title, have a look at the title. What is given? It's an Indian economics, a development oriented study by three authors and the publisher's information and the rest of the physical descriptions are given. Now among the three given authors, first you have to look which is the principal author. How to find out the principal author? Either the first one or the one which is given in thick letters or capital letters. So in this title page, all the three letters are given in the same format. So the first author we are going to take as the principal author. So what is the first author's name given? It is a J.D. Verma. So like how we have done the previous exercise, first you copy down the class number and book number before the first vertical intention by leaving one line, copy down the assertion number. After completing the call number and assertion number, start with the heading section. In the heading section, you are going to copy down the principal author's name, which is Verma JD. So, starting from the first vertical, write the Verma, comma, JD. Now, we are coming for the description. Now, we have to write the title from the second intention. What is the title? Indian Economics, colon, subtitle is there. So, copy down the subtitle, slash. Now, in the place of statement of responsibility, we have to copy down all the three authors name in the same format. So the first author is the Verma, comma, copy down the second author, copy down the third author and then go for the subsequent statement of responsibility. The subsequent statement of responsibility is not given in this title page. So we can go to the edition statement which is given as third revised edition. So now use a dot dash third R-E-V-E-D and then place of publication, name of the publisher, year of publication. So the rest of the paragraphs I think you can do it by yourself by this time because we have done in detail with the first exercise. But let us just see how to do the tracing section which differs from one example to another example. 
So, once again in the tracing section we have to start with the subject. So, what is the subject in this? The title says it is a Indian economics and the number is 330. So, obviously the subject is nothing but economics. So, 1 stands for the subject which is economics and then we have to go for Roman number 1. In this title page we have got 3 authors. So, we have to prepare the added entries for rest of the 2 authors. So, Roman number 1 you have to prepare the entry for the given second author. And the next Roman number you have to prepare for the next author and then you have to go for the title card because we do not have the collaborators or the series. So, in this example we have got one subject card and two author card and one title card totally you have to prepare four added entries for this example. Now, let us go to the third example which is meant for more than three authors. Now, look at this title page. What is given? The title is Principles of Psychology. Here we have got more than three authors. We have four authors. So, in case if we have more than three authors, we have to start the main entry that is the choice of access with the title of the document. So, this rule we can term it as a hanging intention. So, hanging intention means the choice of access begins with the title of the document and not by the author's name. So, when can we start with the title if we have more than three authors or if we have no author or if we have only the editor. So, in these cases we have to start the choice of access with the title. So, in this example we have got more than three. So, we are going to do with the title as your choice of access. Now, we are going to write down the title from the first vertical indention that is the principles of psychology slash and in the given authors find out the principal author. So, once again in this case also the first one stands as the principal author. So, copy down the principal author's name as given and use a three dot and within square bracket use the word E T A L which is pronounced as et al. Et al means it is nothing but and others. It is et al is a French word. So, here in AACR they have used a French word instead of English word as and others. So, if you have more than three authors copy down the first SR use a three dot and within square bracket use the word et al. And then you have to go for the SSR which is not given and then editors information and publishers information and as usual the physical description. But in this case the first paragraph we are beginning from the first vertical intention. So, the continuation should come to the second vertical and not from the first vertical. So, this is the main difference between the up to three authors and the editorial work. In up to three authors we begin the title from the second intention. So, we take the continuation to the first intention. Whereas, in this case we are starting the title from the first intention. So, we are taking the continuation to the second intention. And now let us come to the tracing section and as usual here also we have to do the subject. One stands for the subject which is psychology and Roman number 1 you have to copy down the first SR name and keep a 3 dot and within square bracket as yet. So, you can have a look how we have written in the title page and Roman number 2 stands for the editor, but in this title page we do not have an editor. So, the added entry ends with the subject and the SR alone. Here we cannot have a title card because the choice of access begins with the title in the main entry. Now, let us go to the next example which we call it as a editorial work or we can call it as a collective title and without collective title. Now, example for collective title. Any essays or dramas or poems can be termed as collective title. Now, let us see one example for this collective title. Essays in Economic Analysis and Policy edited by Deepak Panaji and the rest of the information so you can have a look in the title page. Let us do it. Here we do not have an author. So, as usual we are going to start the choice of access with the given title. So, the title says it is essays in economic analysis and policy slash and the given editor you have to copy it down that is edited by Deepak Banerji and the rest of the information is the normal procedure. And now let us see how to write the tracing section. What is the difference in the tracing section between the normal work and the editorial work? The first tracing section belongs to the subject which is economics in this case also and Roman number 1 stands for generally we prepare the Roman number 1 for the editor. But in this title page we have a content area which we have used it in the note area 
or in the note paragraph. So in this note area, we have got two titles, separate titles are given which is written by two separate authors. So you, from the collective title, we have to prepare the author card if any is given in the note paragraph. So of course in this title, we have two titles given in the note paragraph and which was written by two separate authors. So Roman number 1 stands for that first author which is given as Jati K. Sengupta. How to write that? Of course it is Sengupta, comma, Jati K. And the next author is given as A. K. Bayachi. So the, that one should be written as Bayachi, comma, A. K. After copying down the author's name, then you should go for the editor which is Deepak Panaji. How to write that name? Panaji, comma, Deepak. Now let us see one more example for the without collective title. What do you mean by without collective title? Here we can have two or three separate titles but kept as one document in the library. Let us see an example. You can have a look at the title page which is already displayed. Introduction to classification by Karna and introduction to cataloging by the author's name and the rest of the publisher's information are given. Here you can see two different titles are given but in a rack it was kept it as a single volume. So how to do this? This we are going to do just like any other simple book. That means the first title you have to do under the author. The first title is written by a single author. So you are going to copy down that author name in the horizontal line as Kanna, Kama, JK and copy down the title information up to edition. And then keep a dot, copy down the second title. What is the second title? Introduction to cataloging. So copy down the title and copy down the rest of the information in a normal procedure. After completing your first and second paragraph, that is your last, your fourth paragraph, which is your tracing section. Here in the tracing section, once again, the subject followed by the remaining authors. Here we had only two titles. For one, already we have written in the choice of access. So the left out is only one author. So Roman number one goes for the second author and then Roman number two goes for the title of the document. But here we have got two titles. So we have to write the word title two times. So the first time you have to write the word title and once again you have to repeat the word title because we are going to prepare added entry for two different titles. So the first title card belongs to introduction to classification and the second title card belongs to introduction to cataloging. So this is the way you have to prepare without collective title. Now let us go to the next example. Example for corporate authors. There are three type of corporate authors named as government corporate author, institutional corporate author and conference or meetings or congress. The first one is government corporate author. Here what you have to do for the government corporate body, the geographical name should be taken as your principal author and the rest of the authors according to the given hierarchy. For example, if there is a document published by Government of India, Ministry of Planning and Department of Statistics, which one is the principal author? Of course, the geographical name. Which one is the geographical name? Government of India. So we have to take only the word India as your principal author and keep a dot and go for the rest of the authors. So remaining two authors are left out, Department of Statistics and Ministry of Planning. This you have to do according to the hierarchy. So the next one, of course, it is your Ministry of Planning. So write Ministry of Planning keep a dot and copy down the department of statistics. If there is no space to continue the author's name in the horizontal line, take the continuation by leaving two space after the second vertical indention, which we call it as a third indention from the left margin. So this is the way of taking the author's name continuation. So this is for government corporate body and the rest of the information in the paragraphs remains same just like the any authorship pattern. And if you take for the institutional corporate author in the choice of access, you have to copy down only the given name of the institution. In case of conference, you have to copy down the name of the conference followed by within parenthesis number of the conference colon, year of the conference, colon, place of the conference. So in brief, we call it as number, colon, year, colon, place or N, colon, Y, colon, P. So this is the form of writing the conference corporate author. So for all this explanation, you can have a look to the worked out examples. Till now, we have discussed how to catalog the book materials. Now let us see how to catalog the non-book materials. Before actually going into the 
practical aspects of cataloging non-book materials, let us see some important theoretical aspects of non-book material. Actually, there is not much difference between the book material and the non-book material if you look into the rules. Of course, for the non-book material also, we are going to follow the same rule of AACR2, which consists of two parts. The first one stands for the standard description and the second part stands for choice of access. And this also has got four appendices. And in that case, what is the difference between the book and non-book material? The first difference stands for the sources of information. That means we cannot get the source for non-book material from the title page. Sometimes it can be available from the label of the document or it can be the item itself. For example, what all the materials can be known as non-book material? Either it can be your cartographic material, which is your map or globe or atlas, or it can be your motion pictures or video recordings, that is your video cassette or video disc, or it can be your audio cassette or audio disc, or it can be any of the graphic materials or micro forms. So how to differentiate the book material and non-book material in a cataloging card? After the title, you have to give the GMD within square bracket. What is this GMD? It is nothing but general material designation. You are going to mention the item what you are going to catalog in this square bracket. And the list of GMD is given in AACR 2 rule according to two different agencies. List 1 stands for British agency, list 2 stands for American agency. Just one example I will tell you from both the agencies. The first one, it's cartographic material. For example, if you are going to catalog a map or atlas, the Britishers will use only the word as cartographic material as GMD. But in case of American catalogers, if you are cataloging a map, they are going to use the word map. And if you are going to catalog the atlas, you will use the word as atlas. So this is the difference between the British catalogers and the American catalogers. So the, it's the choice of the library to decide whether they require the first list or they require the second list. So this is the main difference between the book material and the non-book material. Now let us start with some examples of the first non-book material which stands for cartographic material. Example number one. Have a look at the title page. What is given? Solid geology of Northwest and Central Donegal map compiled by, cartographed by and publishes information. And what is the rule for cartographic material? The choice of access is just like your book material. That means it can be your up to three authors or even it can be more than three authors or it can be under the title if you don't have an author or more than three authors or it can be even your corporate authorship. That's why we have written in the choice of access as ISBD within bracket G, which stands for International Standard Bibliographic Description for General Book Material. So in this case, we have an author in the form of cartographer. So cartographer can be taken or considered as your author. So here cartographed by Cardo Draftak is given. So the word Cardo Draftak should be taken as your author and it should be written in the choice of access. And then copy down the title in the normal way. After copying down the title, you have to use your GMD. Here, you can use either the word map or you can use the word cartographic material within square bracket. And then as usual, statement of responsibility, subsequent statement of responsibility and edition. After the edition area, here we are going to use for the first time your material specific detail, which is applicable only for cartographic material. And what are all the material specific details for map or atlas or globe? It can be in the form of scale, which we call it as a statement of scale. The next one is statement of the projection. And the next one is the statement of coordinates and equinox. What are the connecting punctuation? For the scale information, use a dot dash. For projection, use a semicolon. And for the coordinates and equinox, use parenthesis. So after copying down the edition, copy down the scale information by using a dot dash and copy down the scale and then the rest of the information is just like any other book material that is your publisher's information. And now let us come to the second paragraph. Here instead of the physical description, we call it as an extent of item. Here extent of item is nothing but you are going to number of the items what you are going to catalog. Here in this case it's a map. If number is not mentioned, you have to always use it as one. 
So copy down the extent of item as one map and keep a colon, go for physical detail. The physical detail should come in the following sequence. The first one stands for the color or black and white of the map. If you have the color, then you have to give the abbreviated form as col dot. If it is a black and white, give the abbreviated form as b and w and then go for the material made of. For example, if the map or globe is made of plastic, you have to copy down made of plastic or mounted on a plastic stand and then dimension which is nothing but the size followed by plus accompanying material. Accompanying material is nothing but the same information can be available in some other format. So if any information is given in the title page, you have to use the connecting punctuation as plus and copy down the accompanying information followed by the series. And the next one as usual your note area and the standard number and terms of availability. So here after completing all the information let us come to the tracing section. Tracing section is almost like your book material the first one stands for the subject and after the subject you have to go for the rest of the added entries but while copying down the subject after mentioning the subject use a hyphen and mention the non-book material. For example, if you are giving the subject as geology, you have to mention this geology is in the form of map and not in the form of book. If you just leave the word geology in the subject, then it can be mistaken as a book material. So for any non-book material along with the subject, you have to mention the type of non-book material by using a connecting punctuation either hyphen or comma. So this is the way of writing the subject and German number 1 stands for the author and followed by the collaborators, editor, title and series. Now let us go to the next type of non-book material which is your motion pictures. For motion pictures and video recording, we do not have the material specific detail and the rest of the information is going to be just like your book material. But how to access the motion picture or video recording? For motion picture and video recording, we are going to access either under the entertainment or under the non-entertainment. If you, the motion picture or video recording is under the entertainment, main entry should start under the title. If it is a non-entertainment, non-entertainment means it is anything related with the educational purpose. That should be done under the authorship pattern. So if it is an entertainment, you are going to start with the title, after the title copy down the word motion picture or video recording and copy down the rest of the information. Here in the place of extent of item for motion pictures, we have to use the word either film reel or it can be the film tapes and in case of video recording, it can be your video cassette or it can be your video disc. And for the physical description, you can have the playing speed and you can have the track configuration and you can have the groove characteristic and the number of sound channels which is denoted as either mono or stereo. So you can have a better understanding with the given examples. And next one is your sound recording. For sound recording also is just like your motion pictures, we do not have a material specific detail. The choice of access is classified into four. That means it can be either your entertainment or it can be under the non-entertainment or it can be under the folk songs or it can be under the devotional or classical songs. The same, if you have a cassette on entertainment or on folk songs, the main entry choice of access should be done under the title. Because if you take any movies, it gets obviously popularized by the title of the movie and not by the director's name. So that's why we always say that for motion pictures and for audio cassettes, the, if it is an entertainment, the main entries access should be under the title and non-entertainment should be under the authorship. The next non-book material is about your microform and graphic materials. This microform and graphic material, the choice of access is going to be your ISBDG. It's nothing but just like any other book material. And after the title, if it is a microform, you have to use the word microform. If it is a graphic, you have to use a graphic. What all comes in the extent of item for microform? It can be your microfiche or microfilm reel or it can be your aperture cards. For graphic material, you can have either your transparency or slides or pictures or art originals. So these are all the examples for the graphic and microform materials. And the tracing is going to be the same just like any other book material.
So, hope by this time you might have got some basic information about the non-book material and how to catalog the different type of non-book materials. All of you for the cooperation extended to us and wish you all good luck for your examinations.